Hey guys, it's Emma Geek, and today I'm going to be showing you my thrift store slash record store day haul. So first, for my thrift store day haul, I have this Pendleton flannel, which are pretty expensive, even still now, they can get up to like a hundred bucks, I think. I don't know, really expensive for a flannel, but regardless of that, I got this for ten bucks, so pretty proud of myself in that and I really like the color and I love this shirt too it really goes together pretty well I got this shirt from Hot Topic by the way so and then the second thing I got from the thrift store is these jeans I will show you they are a little bit ripped but not too much and you can fold them up which is good for me because I'm I'm very short and very cute um, but yeah, so that's all I got from the thrift store. So this was 20 bucks total, and I love it so much. I really do. Um, the lady at the thrift store was really nice, too. But a tip, when you're buying things from this thrift store, wash them immediately. <laughs> you know, because it is a thrift store, regardless of how it's kept or whatever. Take that, chuck it in the wash, crank it up to the highest temperature that you can get, and just really, really wash it, because you want to get rid of any possible bugs or whatever germs bacteria anything like that so but yeah these are definitely very clean so that's why i'm wearing them now um also i did post this outfit on dote and i know i got this from a thrift store so technically none of the things were really on dote confession but i know i'm not the only one that does well no um <laughs> whenever i post something on dote and one of the things that i'm wearing isn't exactly on the app i'll either post it in the comments i'll let you know hey by the way i got this at this store or i'll find the absolute best match on the app so that people can somewhat replicate the look and i know i'm not the only person that does that i just try to really show people like as much as i can also i was wearing i'll show you these converse with these <laughs> jeans um so obviously i posted this outfit on dope so if you want to check that out just like i post every outfit i mean this isn't news but um i posted this on dope so if you want to check it out i always do this i always want to fix my hair and make it look nice um but yeah i posted this on dope like i said for the third time so if you want to check it out you know what to do i told you all about it check it out um so that's this is my thrift store haul but also quick detour um i bought Billie Eilish's debut album, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, at Target a while back. Well, I didn't actually buy it. I had a gift card. But, yeah. Um, And it came with a poster and some stickers and some temporary tattoos. They're really cool. But it came with this poster, and I've been wanting to buy a frame for it for a while. So the same day I got these, I got a frame from Target. So I'll show you the poster and the frame now. you there's the camera um but yeah so it's really really cute and i love the frame it really goes with it really well and it fits it really well too i'm back and also i got these again here i go saying that word really really cute <laughs> socks long little black sheep I love them a lot. Okay, now onto my record store day haul. Now I went to New Ray Comics and I forgot it was record store day, but then I was like, oh, it's record store, record store day. And at New Ray Comics, they basically just had boxes and boxes full of forty fives, and you could take as much as you want for free. So my mom and I were all over that. Um, I also actually bought an album there. It was for nine bucks. It was an album by The Who, but um, which I'm really it's like one of my, it's my favorite album by them, and it was only nine bucks, so I was psyched. And I listened to it, and it sounds pretty good. Um, but I'll get into that album a bit more when I do my like vinyl when I show when I do a video showing you guys my vinyl collection. So. With that said, let's get into the actual record store day haul. Like, all the 445s that are there. Yeah. Put them in the bag. Alright. 
we're gonna be here a while. So let's do it. So we really just went through and we grabbed a bunch um, that we liked and then we just took them home and now I'm gonna share them with you. We haven't listened to them yet, so honestly, we don't know what the condition is like. Some of them look kind of scratched and dirty, but we can always try to clean them. But I mean, worst case scenario, it doesn't sound the best. We got it for free, so. But let's get into the actual records now. I'll stop talking, kind of. So we got, people are gonna cringe when they find a way to, ha to handle these records. All right, so we got Drum Dreams and All Over the World by Electric Light Orchestra. I really didn't have to take it out, but I wanted to show you guys at least one of them. I think 45s are so cute. <laughs> And then we've got It's a Feeling and Rosanna by Toto. Which they didn't we didn't find Africa, but Rosanna's a good song too. So it's alright. Then we have Railroad by Melanie and Ring the Living Bell by Melanie. Um, Mom and I didn't really know who she was, but I think it it just spoke to us, so we got it and we listened to the songs. And she's actually got a really nice voice, so I'd recommend checking it out. We've got I Want You Back and Who's Loving You by the Jackson 5. It says Motown up there. And I like the design, so. Oh, this is one I got. I know I found this one. White Wedding and Dead on Arrival by Billy Idol. So that was a cool find. Let's see. Oh, Harden My Heart and Don't Be Lonely by Marvin Ross. This one was also, like, an amazing find that my mom found. Um, just, like, Starting Over by John Lennon. So you dig through the 45s and you find some, like, people that you've never heard of, but then you also find John Lennon. <laughs> and the other side is Kiss, Kiss, Kiss by Yoko Ono. So... Pretty cool one. Then this is one that I found by Elton John, Honky Cat and Slave. And I really like the design on this one too. It's like the swirl. Then we have I Don't Want to Talk About It and The Best Days of My Life by Rod Stewart. Maggie May by Rod Stewart and Reason to Believe. Oh, then this one, I was really psyched. I think I like gasped when I saw it. I was like, yeah, I have to have this in my house. Like I need it so bad. Um, Jolene by Dolly Parton and Love, You're So Beautiful Tonight. <sighs> Jolene's such a good song. Like, let's just be honest here. Midnight Confessions and Who Will Be Who Will You Be Tomorrow by the Grassroots. I don't know what that is. I don't remember. I'll Meet You Halfway and Morning Rider on the Road by The Partridge Family. Hard Time Losing Man and Time in a Bottle by Jim Croce. So my mom and I were both digging through the records, so some of them are ones she found, and some of them are ones that I found. Um, I dig rock and roll mu music, um, and The Great Mandela, Peter, Paul, and Mary. Do we have this one? Hard Time Losing Man, and yeah, Time in a Bottle by Jim Croce. Oh, this one I found, I found like a bunch of John Denver ones, so Baby You Look Good to Me Tonight by John Denver, and I don't know, it's just Baby You Look Good to Me Tonight. Well, that's fine with me, I love that song, it's a really cute song. Oh, another John Denver. This is Calypso, which is a song that he kind of yodels on a little bit, so obviously I had to get it, and I'm sorry. Then we got some more Toto, still no Africa, but we got Change of Heart and Stranger in Town. And then this song, because of course, we had to get 
funky town. <laughs> funky town and all night dancing. Um, Ice cream bird? Oh, this one I got. I love rock and roll. And you don't know what you've got by Joan Jett and the Black Arts. This song, Take It on the Run by Ario Speedwagon and Someone Tonight. And then the one song by the Partridge Family that I think I actually know, which is I Think I Love You by the Partridge Family. And Somebody Wants to Love You on the other side. This one? Oh, living in stereo, chili whack. Chill whack. Okay, chili whack. Um, and I believe. And then the Peter, Paul, and Mary cover of Leave It on a Jet Plane by John Denver, and I love this sleeve. It's so cute. And the house song. Like, look at that. Adorable. And then we have like a Christmas album, which is the Chipmunk song and Little Drummer Boy. So when Christmas comes around, we can play these two songs. <laughs> and then Cool and Green and Shady by John Denver. Of course, here we go, another John Denver. And then Annie's song. When I saw Annie's song, I was like, I need, I like, I need this because that song is beautiful. Like, if you haven't listened to that song, listen to that song because it's it will change your life. That's just a fact. That's just the way it is. And then we have the last one, which is a CCR 45, Creedence Clearwater Revival, Born on the Bayou, and Proud Mary. So that's, that's our new 45 collection. I only have one other 45, and I got that for Christmas, I think, yeah, for my mom. It was it's it was for the anniversary of Yellow Submarine, so yeah, it was Yellow Submarine, and then I think Eleanor Rigby, and then I have a bunch of other vinyl records too, like the one I just got, and then just a bunch of others that I have, of course, because I love them. So I'm gonna do a no, a whole another video, completely dedicated to all those, so I can give them the attention that they deserve. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video and like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, which will hopefully be a, a vinyl collection video because we all know I'm trying to get back on track. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.